Dr. Michelle Akkad. I'm Medical Director of Athletic Heart of San Francisco, and I welcome you to this first episode of Your Heart Health in a Heartbeat, which is a series of uh, videos um, during which I will discuss topics uh, of interest um, related to heart health and heart disease. Uh, so the topic today uh, has to do with uh, statin medications and whether statin drugs are overprescribed. And the reason I bring that up um, is because a, a paper was just published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology uh, September of this year to address that question uh, and I thought it would be of interest to you. Uh, I'll, I'll get to the paper in a minute. Let's talk a little bit about background. Um, what are statin drugs and what do they do? Um, you may have heard the term, or I'm sure you've heard the terms or the names Lipitor, Crestor, uh, Zocor, or the uh, generic names are Torvastatin, Silvastatin, and so forth. Um, there are many medications in that class uh, of drugs called statins and these medications are very, very commonly used. Um, literally millions and millions of people in our country and worldwide take statin drugs. Uh, and Lipitor was the best-selling medication in, in the history of, of uh, pharmaceuticals. Um, and, and statin drugs lower the cholesterol and ca can help reduce the chance of someone having a heart attack in the future. So what are the settings uh, in which uh, we use statin drugs? Typically there are two. Um, uh, we use statin drugs when someone um, has had a heart attack or there's uh, clear evidence of um, plaque buildup in the uh, blood vessels of, of the body, in the coronary arteries or, or other arteries. Um, and, and when we have that um, evidence, then that's a setting during which, in which we use uh, statin drugs. But we can also use uh, statin drugs, or they are used uh, frequently, uh, even before there's any evidence of, of heart disease or cardiovascular disease as a means to prevent uh, future events. Um, and, and the reason um, um, uh, that that's done is because there's uh, a correlation or an association between the level of blood cholesterol and um, the future risk of heart attacks and strokes. And so the higher your blood cholesterol, the higher the chance uh, that one uh, you know, could have a stroke or a heart attack in the future. But that association is not very strong. Um, it's, um, it's a statistical association and, and it's, it, it's, you know, for example, it's not a guarantee or it's not a given that if your cholesterol level is high that you will develop uh, heart disease. And, and likewise, it's not a given that if your cholesterol level is uh, normal or on the low side that you will not develop heart disease. The blood cholesterol level is just one of many factors that uh, are involved in this process of plaque buildup. And, and it's a complicated process and it's not fully understood. Um, and so that relationship is not very strong. Um, so, so what did these investigators um, uh, do? They, um, they studied thousands of volunteers um, with a heart scan. And the heart scan is a tool that can detect the, this process of plaque buildup in the arteries um, at a very early stage. Um, so I they looked particularly at the, you know, at the heart scan, so at the, at the, the coronary arteries, the arteries that run on the surface of the heart, to see if there's, there was any evidence of plaque buildup. And they, they studied, uh, studied this in, in thousands of volunteers. Age range was um, 45 to 85, and, uh, and it included uh, men and women. And, um, and then they also measured the, the uh, cholesterol level in, in, in these folks. And they followed these folks for a number of years. And what they discovered was that for many uh, people uh, whose cholesterol level seems to be high enough to warrant the use of a statin drug based on the, the current uh, recommendations, the current guidelines. Well, many of these folks don't have any evidence of plaque buildup. And, and not only that, if you follow them for a few years, the risk of a heart attack seems to be on the low side. Um, and and it, um, so, so it suggests that we can use the heart scan as a way to um, uh, delay or avoid altogether uh, the use of a medication. So that's, uh, those are the findings uh, from that study and, and I thought that was very interesting. I was not uh, surprised. I mean, I think it, it makes sense that a heart scan would be more precise and, and would allow us to tailor um, the use of statin better. I was surprised by the extent to which the blood cholesterol level is, um, is misleading. Uh, you know, they found out that 50% of, of um, people uh, whose cholesterol uh, level is such that it warrants, you know, according to the guidelines, uh, the use of a statin, well, 50% of them did not have any evidence of plaque on the heart scan. So that's quite a, quite a large number. 
And, uh, and I think uh, it's important because with statin drugs, but with any medication, we want to be as, as careful and as precise as possible and tailor the use of these medications uh, to the people who need it most and, and try to avoid giving it uh, to people uh, that may not have any benefit. And, and the reason is because medications have uh, you know, side effects of their own and potential uh, long-term risks as well as uh, cost, you know, they, they cost money, so they're not, they're not cheap. So, um, so that's, that's the, the topic of the day, and I hope you found that informative. Um, on the, um, the website of aestheticheart.com, uh, uh, you will find additional, you know, a link to this uh, paper, as well as uh, other articles of interest, so uh, feel free to join us there. And uh, next time we will talk about uh, um, uh, the, the, um, the question of screening for heart disease or evaluating uh, people for unsuspected heart disease, people who otherwise feel well and don't have any symptoms, um, who should consider uh, screening for heart disease uh, or an evaluation for heart disease. So I hope you will join me at that time as well. Thank you very much and I will see you then.